Hey fellows, DK here and welcome to Phenomenal Creations. I'm bringing you guys a short video tutorial of a really neat trick if you're doing visual effect shots with static shots or vlogs or whatever you actually really want. So let's jump straight in. Excited? Yeah, you should be. It's gonna be cool. Cool! So, you haven't left yet. Well, that's just brilliant. So, think about this. Have you ever really wanted this really organic, handheld, mechanical, like legit camera movement for your uh, footage, but you're just a one man alone and you're having your camera on static on a tripod? You know, that can be a really troublesome sometimes, and there are certain ways for using, for example, in After Effects, this kind of wiggle expressions, or just animating position of your footage to move like a camera would, but those are always digital, and we don't want that. So, today I'm gonna show you how you get this legit handheld camera movement, like for real, to a static shot but we are using actual camera movement from hands and put that data into the static shot. You wanna see how that's done? Let's jump in. So guys, before we go to any kind of editing goodness, we should do a few things first. So here you can see I just took a plain piece of paper, then I have a pen, and I start drawing a few cross symbols for the tracking points and we're gonna need those later so make sure you have at least two of them and then I have here some tape you can use whatever tape you want and then just tape that paper on the wall or on a plain surface then I took just the camera in my hands and start filming it on the wall and having the doing my handheld camera motion and that's basically all we need then we take those and put them to After Effects and do some magic before that, here you can see a before look with no shake, a static shot, and here you can see the after with the kind of organic shake. So guys, this is what we will do in After Effects, so keep your pads on tight because I'm gonna send them spinning. Alright, After Effects. Welcome to After Effects. It's a very sunny day, I just got my haircut and my life is just brilliant. Uh, because I can create videos for you guys and I'm just overly generally happy. So let's see how this effect is made. So here in After Effects you have, we need to brought our two kind of footage here. Um, uh, from this preview we can see what we're dealing with. So the motion track uh, we shot with the camera on the wall and then we have our footage we want to affect with the camera shake on. So what we do, you can go ahead and grab this and bring it to a new comp button. I have already created a composition so I just drop it here. But you can just drop it to this icon here. It does the same job. So now we have this here. And let's, it's a static shot as you can probably tell. It doesn't have any movement but we're gonna fix some movement here. So then go ahead and take the other clip where we, we need to motion track and put that below right below this our main clip so let's just rename it to keep it organized so get this main footage and motion target sounds pretty snappy like this and then we can go ahead and turn off the main footage just for a second so we just see the main the motion target here so we need to motion track this so how we do this, if you can see here at my right, I have a tracker menu open here. If you don't see this, you can go here up for window and go and apply tracker. Then it will pop up as this kind of a window somewhere on the screen on the workspace and then you can move it around as you wish. So I just have it pretty here and we need to track it, but we can track anything because we haven't selected our motion target there. Now we select the clip and some options will light up. So we're gonna use the track motion here. And when you click that you can see the, the layout changes to this layer for the motion target. And you can see here we have a track point, track point 1. But we have two crosses here and we need two track points. Uh, let me explain this um, really nice thing about this tracker. You can see here is a few options. Here's position which is checked and rotation and scale. So we, these are the properties we want to enable depending on what kind of track we are wanting. 
So, uh, because we are uh, wanting um, a camera shake from hand, we need to check the position, obviously, and the rotation also, because the camera is rotating a bit to the left and right, if you know what I mean. But we don't need, in this case, um, enable scale, because the camera is not moving towards the points or away from them. So just click on position and rotation. Then you can see there will appear another tracking point there, because it needs two points to reference the rotation from. Same goes for scale. So what we do, we go ahead and we can move these points where we want them. So one to the first cross and the second right there, like this. Okay, that's pretty good. We can resize this a bit, so like that. All right, awesome. So then what we do is pretty straightforward, we just hit the analyze forward button and because this is a really really simple layout it shouldn't have any problems by tracking this. So hit that and you can see it's tracking pretty good. Alright but I bring you back when this is done. So guys, now we can see here it has tracked pretty good here and we can all see all these small tracking points for every frame it's track and it's pretty darn good stuck. So now we have to put all this tracking data on the main footage to get it to move. But how, it, how do we do that? So firstly we need to create a null object. If you don't know how to do this, go up to layer and new and null object right there, right there. Uh, or what I usually use is I go I right click here and do an all object like this Then I usually rename to track for or keeping me organized help uh, helps to move like that and Now what we have to do we get to put this all this data on this null Because we can see here in the tracker panel here so we can see the motion target is the main footage here So we will paste all this data on the main footage and that will not affect the footage at all, it just put all kind of keyframes there. And that's why we need to change the motion target to the track. So how we do that, we go to edit target and click on track. So now what we will do is pasting all this tracking data on the track and then we can use that and edit that individually without having to play around with the main footage on keyframes. So that's pretty pretty neat. And then what we need to only do is click apply, apply dimensions X and Y and click OK. So if we close this up, we can see this is pretty good tracked right on the X. So okay, now we have a perfect track. But how do we how do we paste this? to our main footage itself. Okay, I show you. So what we can go ahead and do, we can click on our main footage and we can turn off our motion target. So you can see it's still a static shot, but we can see the null moving there because it's tracking from the camera motion we did, like this. So what we do is pretty simple. Go for a main footage and here you can see this little sp spiral icon. It's a parent icon. And what you do is click and hold and drag it to the track. So what, what that will do, it will apply all the, the track's information of keyframes, positioning, moving, animations, everything to the main footage to do the same. So now when we watch this, it moves exactly like the null object. So in other words, we have put the information of the handheld in, uh, track right in here. So now if we hit play, it's basically now a handheld shot. But as you probably are able to notice, we are seeing this, that this is moving around and we can see these black bars and it's getting out of frame all the time. Well, that's pretty simple why to do that because we can't create visual camera information it's just moving the frame but it's really easily fixed what you just do is go to main footage hit s on your keyboard to get your scale properties and just scale it up so it feels a little bit off this that's the only minus downside with this uh, method you gotta scale it up just a bit but 
usually you can't see any difference and it never basically affects you. So now we have no black bars and it's moving pretty smoothly there. And if we look at this, we're having a, basically a handheld shot here. So guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys like this tutorial and yeah, that was pretty cool. Hey guys, thanks for joining Phenomenal Creations this week. Hope you learned something phenomenalizing. Be sure to give this video a like if you liked it, a dislike if you disliked it, and write a comment. Like tutorial suggestions and much more, it's up to you. Click right there if you want to go forward an episode and here if you want to go back one. Oh, I almost forgot, please hit that subscribe button right there. Not only will you keep me motivated for more awesome stuff, but also you are joining the Phenomenal Creations VFX family. And you are supplied with the finest Adobe tutorials on top of your subscription feed. So get busy clicking. That was all for this time, BK signing out, have fun phenomenalizing your production, stay awesome.